What is going on guys, Tactical Bacon here, and thank you very much for joining me for today's video, which is going to be a Daisy Server Spotlight video. So I know that I haven't done one of these in quite a while, but I do remember that there has been some comments over the last couple of months that I should definitely continue this, and that is what we're going to be doing today. So I was sitting here at my computer thinking to myself, what server should I be doing for this video? And I thought, why not shine a little bit of light on the TDR server that I've been playing on for the past several months and that you've pretty much seen in all of uh, Daisy over Pox Season 3 and that hopefully you will continue to see. Yes, over the past 30 days, the population on this server has taken a nosedive, but it's not just this server in particular, I've noticed. It's actually a lot of different servers, a lot of popular over Pox servers have actually started to decrease in population and a lot of people are thinking that right now it's because the next epoch update which is i believe it's 1061 correct me if i'm wrong in the comments which i'm sure someone will this is an issue that is affecting a lot of servers right now and it's because that most of the servers if not all of the servers are unfortunately going to have to do a complete and total server wipe if they wish to upgrade to the new epoch which i'm sure that most of them are probably going to end up having to now while that may sound like an unfortunate turn of events for a lot of people, and it kind of is depending on how you look at things, if you're looking for a server that is not completely overrun with the gigantic tower bases that you see now on almost every Overpox server, if you're looking for a server where there's not a bunch of people camping in their bases, shooting at you with Shaytex and M107s, yes there are M107s on this server, I don't know about Shaytex though. And I suppose that if you're just looking for a really good Overpox server, this server has you covered. There are a whole lot of different features on this server that you don't see on a whole lot of other servers right now. There is the AI Fortress up in the north, which you've seen us go to several times in Season 3 of Overpox. There are also three checkpoints on the map, Alpha, Bravo, and Charlie. Now all these areas, they are heavily patrolled by AI. Normally there's 50 cal gunners at the AI Fortress, I believe that there are at least four, maybe even more 50 cal gunners up there. It actually provides a challenge for players who are looking to either get positive or negative humanity without having to go to missions all the time. These are things that, you know, most of the time you'll find like a crate with some pretty good guns, ammunition, and, you know, you'll find coins on the AI and all that kind of good stuff. It's just a really good feature to have on a server that, like I said, you really don't see too many other places. There's currently no update on when they're going to make the switch to the new Epoch, but I assume that it will probably be within the next couple of weeks. From everything that I'm reading, on the TDR website, which by the way, you, you can find links to the TDR website. I'll put the server IP and all that kind of good information in the description of this video. So check there if you're interested in checking out this server. But like I said, as of this time, there is no set date on when they're going to do the Epoch upgrade. So I guess to go ahead and kind of wrap this video all up, if I had to give this server like a score, even though I am kind of biased because I have been playing here for several months, I think out of 100, I would have to give this server like a 94 out of 100. Like obviously no server is going to be perfect. There are some things that I wish that they would tr uh, change here and there, but it, it's just very like minor things. But like I said, if you're looking for a good Overpox server with admins who are going to be there to help you, it is definitely the server that you should check out. Anyways, it's going to wrap it up for this server spotlight video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up if you did. And remember to subscribe if you have not already. And we will be back next week with a new Daisy Overpock video, a new Arma 3 video, King of the Hill. So check that out on Wednesday. And I don't know, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll see what we got for Friday's video next week. But anyways, that's it for me. I will catch you guys in the next one.